There are two very different versions of what happened to Medicaid in Wisconsin's current budget. Governor Walker says funding was increased by $1.2 billion. His opponents say he cut funding by $554 million. Yeah, just a, a bogus uh, assessment out there. Not only do we add more money, uh, but in a typical Madison, Washington math kind of scenario, they said we added $1.2 billion, but because they wanted $1.8, somehow that's a cut. The only way to get at the truth is to go back to the budget documents prepared by the nonpartisan Legislative Fiscal Bureau. So, going into the 2009-2011 budget with Governor Doyle, Medicaid was getting $2.9 billion from the state, and the agency was asking for $4 billion. When the budget was passed, it got $2.49 billion. That's almost half a billion less than it was getting, and $1.5 billion less than it asked for. Now going into the 2011-2013 budget with Governor Walker, Medicaid was getting $2.8 billion from the state and wanted $3.6 billion. The final budget gave it $4 billion. That's $428 million more than it asked for and $1.2 billion more than it was getting before. That's where Governor Walker gets his $1.2 billion figure. Several months later, even with the extra money, Medicaid was running over budget. $554 million more. It later turned out to actually be about $232 million. The Walker administration directed the Department of Health Services to try to find the savings internally. To ensure that the dollars we invested in Medicaid actually stayed in the areas where it was needed to protect needy families, to protect those who were truly in need and not just those looking for a permanent entitlement, is we made changes. Simple things like saying, you know what, if you have health insurance coverage available to you under your employer, or from your parents, we're going to require in the future that you get it from that employer, from your parents, and not from the government, not from the hardworking taxpayers through Badger Care. Uh, if you're above a certain income level, we're going to start asking to pay a little bit for premiums out there. Although still, if you look at groups like the Kaiser Family Foundation, which is not particularly partisan one way or the other, uh, they pointed out the numbers that we're asking for that were still considerably less than what families are paying outside of programs like Badger Care uh, throughout the rest of the country and certainly around the state of Wisconsin. And interesting enough, a premium that's far less than the lowest cost plan for state government employees. Those reforms are the reason Walker's critics say he is cutting the program. I think the reforms we put in place are very reasonable. People are going to take them out of context. They're going to claim things. You notice some of the words, the semantics they use to try and tweak that and say, well, it may cause this. The reality is it's not going to cause that. In fact, what we do is we actually ensure, not only by adding more money, but by putting reforms in place, we guarantee that the truly needy in our state get the kind of help and support that they need for years to come. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.